everyone. How was your day today? Today, I want to talk to you about risk taking. So I want to ask you, are you a risk taker? Do you Sorry, the mic is switching on and off. Let me know if you don't hear me, okay? Okay. When was the last time you felt like um, butterflies uh, in your stomach? Like you felt like I'm feeling no chills because you're, you're taking a big risk in your life. When was the last time you did that? Do you even remember? Like something you were not sure how it's going to happen and you're just like, I'm taking the risk. Just think about it, okay? And let me know in your comments. I want you to know that nobody, nobody I have read about who made a big achievement in life or made left a big impact in our world without taking risks. So if you are one of the people who are after making a big change, a big impact, even on your personal life level, you want to make a big change for you and for your kids, for your community, Hi, Ka hi, Casey. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Love that you're here today. Thank you. So if you want to really, you're after making a big risk and a big change, well, you better be a risk taker. And I understand we're all genetically uh, programmed. We're all, and that's why we look like our parents and our relatives, all right? And I know we have lots of beliefs that we are programmed, they are not even ours, not even our parents, not even their ancestors, like it goes back way far. I know we all have that, but are we aware of it? This is a big question for us, okay? So what does risk taking mean? Risk taking means that you are not gonna play it safe. I know this sounds scary. I know, like I, I am there and I have been there in like whenever I want to make a big change in my life, I've had this butter, <laughs> butterfly uh, pain in my stomach. I felt like I, I know I'm, I'm after something big because if I don't get this feeling, then I am conforming. I am living in mediocrity and I decided not to live in mediocrity. So, okay, what are the characteristics of risk takers? The biggest one is that they believe in themselves. And this is not easy. They believe in themselves. They take a big leap or take a massive imperfect action, not knowing. They know that they want to do this and they believe they can do it. They believe in themselves. But they are not sure if this faith, like <laughs> leap of faith, is going to land them there or they might fall down. And... That's okay. If they fall down, they, they get up, they readjust. But if you decide not to play, like if you want to learn swimming and you're standing all the time on the shore, how are you going to learn swimming then? You have to jump in the sea. You have to believe in yourself and take this risk. Don't be scared. You're boxing yourself. Okay? So, well, like imagine, like, you know, we all, you all have phones mobile phones, you all have computer, laptops, whatever. Every now and then you get a notification that it needs update. If you don't update it, it doesn't function properly. Well, think of yourself like this laptop. You need an update. You need to plant a new belief and that will help you take the risk and go after your goal. Well, Count with me how many limiting beliefs you are aware of or even you might not be aware of. How do you know them? Decide what you want to do. And it's a big thing. It's not like you're going to uh, bake a cake now. I'm not talking about this right now. Like decide on a big goal that you have for yourself. And then notice what comes in your mind. What's this little chatter telling you? Is it telling you you are not smart enough? Is it telling you you're not rich enough? Is it telling you you are, uh, people will laugh at you? Is it telling you you will be ridiculed? Listen, listen. I mean, like, let it come out. Well, let the dog out. Listen to them. See what is barking at you. Because this is what's stopping you. Because guess what? Nothing is going to happen if you 
personally do not change. Well, if you have this limiting beliefs and this chatter mind working inside, telling you you can't, you're dumb, you're stupid, no, you cannot make money, nobody will buy your um, services, nobody will buy your book, nobody wants to work with you, you cannot, you can, you're not fit for the job, you need more degrees to get it, you need more to study, L listen, listen. Because if you don't change, take this out garbage out and plant a new belief that's going to be supporting you. And this is how you're going to change. Because if you expect others to applaud you and tell you, go for it, and like you're waiting for them to tell you what to do, well, it's not going to happen. It has to come from within. You have to be driven by your passion, why you want to do it. You have to be willing to take risks. And in order to take risks and feel comfortable, by the way, be, we have, I got used feeling I'm for comfortable, make, make it my norm, like to feel uncomfortable, that's okay. <laughs> because I am looking for a big change. I'm not looking for like uh, incremental ones. I'm looking for exponential ones, which I believe now I'm worthy of, which I didn't believe before. And that was a big change for me. Okay, that's why I'm telling you it's an inside software. You have to plan and update it in order for you and only you to take you where you want to go. Okay, so just like start thinking about what are my limiting beliefs? What, 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 what this voice is telling me? Okay, what is it telling me? And just notice it. Because if you don't notice it, that's the problem. It's still running your life and you're not aware of it. And little or no change is going to take place, okay? I want to ask you here. Well, okay. So you have to reframe another thing to help you take risks is to reframe your definition and your relationship with failure. Well, thanks to our school system, if you fail a, a subject, you are ridiculed. Like, yeah, you're shamed for that. You're... Uh, uh, your parents are mad at you. Like we're ridiculed when we're programmed to think that failure is a horrible thing. So what do people do? They stop themselves from taking risk or trying something new because they're afraid to fail. Whereas failure, if you reframe it, you will love it because it shows you, uh, it's like, take it as steps. If I try something and I fail at it, then I know that I have to try something different. But if I'm afraid to fail, then this is actually failure itself, like because I'm not moving anywhere. I'm not taking risk. I'm not, I'm not growing. Oh my life, what kind of life is that? Would you like to li live your life like that? Like live in mediocrity? What impact are you gonna leave? What message are you leaving for your kids? These little eyes and little hands who are like looking up to you. So you have to show up and show up brave and don't be scared to fail, but get up and try again and try again and do your best. And three questions you have to ask yourself when you're, when you're about to take a risk. Well, I'm not telling you like, go and quit your job right now, or like, don't think about what was gonna, how it's gonna impact other. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that there is a big potential waiting for you, but you need to take risks to, in order to reach it. You need to try something you have never tried before. You have to believe in yourself. And it takes a lot of work in order to reach this level. It takes a lot of work, but it's worth it. And this is the only way out. So what are the three questions to ask when you're about to take a big risk? Number one, okay, I have put them down anyways for you. So I tell them whoever want to take a note of that, this is really useful. So. What's the be best case scenario with the risk I want to take? What's the best case scenario from, from, from what I want to, I'm doing now and this works? What's the best case scenario? Think about it, fantasize with it. Then question number two, what's the worst case scenario that could happen? Okay. There is no worst case scenario. Like you'll be like the way you are, like you're going to stay where you are. Okay. Just like think about it. And then the last question is, what is most likely uh, to happen from this? And then put for yourself in bold letter, take action. 
Oh, yeah, sure. I know. Okay. Yeah, success for sure. <laughs> you're, by the way, successful as long as you're taking steps every way towards your goal. It's the progressive realization of a worthy goal. That's when you're at whatever the goal is. The goal might be that you want to be the best mom. You want to be the best cook. You want to be like whatever the goal. But as long as you're taking progressive action towards this achievement every single day without giving up, you are a success. You only like fall when you stop doing that. All right. So that's why I want to like encourage you to reframe your thinking about taking risks. Like reframe it. Taking risk will take you like say, OK, so I have another reframe for you as well for you here. And I have taken a little like I don't take notes because I, I always speak from my heart and I don't like speak from any documents in front of me. But there were some questions I thought like I really want to share with them, so I'd better write it down. So um, first of all, remember, number one, believe in yourself that you can do it. And it's OK to fall down because fall. I, I fall a lot every day, but I but I get up again and I try something new and I don't give up like it happens. I'm a human being. And then everybody like honestly, honestly. Check who, would, who is ideal in the field you want to grow in. Who is your dream-like person? This is, they have achieved what you want. Somebody has done it before. Read their books. Follow them. See what they do. Like, this is great. I mean, because you are learning. You are learning because what you want is already there. And it's already actually here right now. But you will see it when you believe it and when you believe in yourself. Okay. Um, a little thing to tie for you, Im imagine, God forbid, you are in, in the house and there is a massive fire and there is a little window. You will find power that comes inside you out of nowhere. You don't know where is that. And you had the power to break the window and to let go, like, and to try to save yourself. This is inside you. This, this passion is inside you. This power is inside you. Inside each one of us, we are just not aware of it. We suppress it. We suppress our dreams and tend to blame circumstances and tend to blame others. But, well, you have a choice anyways. You can blame them, fine. That's your choice. But blaming them is not going to take you where you want to go. You will stay stuck where you are. When this thing, which is massive, giant inside you, wakes up, you will be surprised. Like, you will look at your life now what you the life you're living now with a telescope because you have made a quantum leap you have made a big shift you're taking risks you welcome risks actually risks you will be like thrilled when you think about taking a risk because this is my chance to grow this is my chance to achieve a big dream this is my chance to learn to stretch myself think of it of like sending like hit a send button when you're having, did write an email and you want to send, hit send. <laughs> when are you going to hit send? Make a decision. Uh, take risks. Risks are for people who want to grow massively. And each one of you is geared to grow massively and to create an impact in this world. Each one of us. There are no rejects. God did not create any rejects. The only reject is that when you reject yourself, this is the only one. And nobody can help you change that until you change it. Okay, let me go through like my notes, which I'm not used to, to check like I give you the question that I really wanted to tell you about. Yeah, and yeah, I wanted to tell you this about. So every day think of that you are reinventing yourself. For if I know, I know that in order for me to grow, I need to work on me every day, just 1%. If I grow every day with just 1%, then I have done my job towards myself. Because if every day I'm better 1% than I was yesterday and the day before, after, and the day after. So by the end of the week, I'm 7% better than when I started at the beginning of the week. So this means that's a new me today after seven days. That's not me that was talking to you a week before because I am investing in myself. I'm working towards my goal. 
I am taking uh, risks every day. I am investing in my, my time and my effort towards my goal. I know, and now I have big dreams. I have, it's ignited, like it's driving me. All right? And in spite of that, I want to acknowledge Casey. Uh, Casey is on the call with me, and I'm so happy to have her because um, we met, we never knew each other, and we're, we're now working as, um, we're partners, like we are um, supporting each other in our program. And uh, I have never thought about having an accountability partner, uh, although I encourage it a lot. But like, she came to me, like from a beautiful place, and I really love her. And uh, she's like, oh, yeah, it's important that I am supporting me. And it's important that from within you, that you uh, feel the love of you. Well. But like, it's great as well when you have even one person who's supporting you in your dreams, who believes in you as well. Because it's important for human beings where sometimes you will feel like, oh my God, I messed it up. I'm falling down, but like, no, I need to get up. And there is someone, you know, that believes in you. But most importantly, Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. And take risks and don't be scared. Be scared to die thinking like I did not do anything of what I wanted to do. Think, get scared, yes, of like when is the end and what legacy have I left behind for even my beloved ones? Did I teach them to give up? Did I teach them that life is hard? Or did I show them there is potential and they can achieve what they want? Did I impact a life? Did I save someone and was able to pay for their education? Think big, guys. Don't think just what you can bring for yourself. Think about others. Did I save someone from being just a thief, like, um, like having no future? Or did I, was I able to help someone? Think big questions, okay? So think big. Dream big. Take risks and don't be scared of what others think of you. Yes, risk others ridicule you. Yes, risk that others might say you're crazy. Risk that others may, may reject you. But believe me, once you made it, they will all be like running and asking you what you did and will applaud you for what you did and you will be a role model. So believe in yourself. Thank you for being with me, whoever was able to join me today. Thank you, Casey. Thank you. I cannot see the other names, but I see there are other people on the call, but I don't see their names. Sorry about that. But I love you and appreciate you all. And have an awesome day and lots of love from me to you. Bye-bye.